In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five trophy infographic options slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here, I have created one trophy here where I've added the icon, the step one, you can add the title and the detailed text. And when I click, it will show me with a different color combination, the option two, three, four, and five. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this QR code. And if you like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose the rectangle top corner sounded, draw a rectangle. And you can see the two small orange points. The first orange point drag this inside. So it, the corners become fully curved. And then the, the top one just drag it somewhat outside and make it less corner here. And then make sure that it is aligned center or I can just put it here. Shape outline, make it no outline. Then go to insert shapes. I'm going to choose one rectangle, draw one rectangle at the bottom, the smaller one like this. And again, make sure that this is align center, shape outline, make it no outline, then go to insert shapes. From the rectangles, I'm going to choose the rectangle top corner surrounded, draw a small rectangle like this. Again, make sure that it is aligned in the center, shape outline, make it no outline, then go to insert shapes. From the rectangles, I'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle and then I'm going to add at the bottom and again, make sure it is a line in the center shape outline make it no outline all right now i'm going to give one shadow effect for that let me just select this shape press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to give some different color here and put it exactly at the top of this one all right and then go to insert shapes select one rectangle draw rectangle rotate it and then how much you want you need to select that option here so you can see here the only the area which is visible i'm going to keep it and the rest of the rectangle i'm going to delete it for that select this the gray rectangle first hold the shift key select this rectangle merge shape and say subtract so i end up getting a shape something like this you can see here let me just put it back here and then i'm going to add the handles of the trophy for that go to insert shapes and i'm going to choose from the lines the curve line so just click here once click here somewhat top at once and at the bottom double click so i end up getting a shape like this and then i'm going to increase the size for that shape outline go to more outline you can just say that weight and you can go to the more lines and increase the width of this maybe 10 all right and shape outline okay, anyway that is the color we have given all right now i'm going to hold the control shift key drag this one here all right and then rotate i'm going to make it flip horizontal and again just drag it more outside and then select both of this and send this to back all right now for this i'm going to give a gradient fill select the gradient fill here i'm going to use two stops okay one stop i've used the transparency the white color, sorry the black color and the transparency i've make it to 96 percent the other one also used the black color where i have kept the transparency for 80 percent and then the direction you can just choose the direction which i which you want i can just choose this direction or i can choose this direction so better i need to choose this one which is the a linear diagonal all right and now i'm going to select these objects one two three four five six and merge shape and make it a union the moment i'm doing that one you can see here the handles also is getting changed so i need to skip that one so i'm going to select this one hold the shift key and this one without the shadow also merge and make it union so it becomes one shape now i'm going to select all the shapes press ctrl g to group it and then i can reduce the size by holding the shift key so now i got this particular cup here or the trophy here 
go to insert i can add some icons i'm going to choose this icon click insert reduce the size to 0.5 and put it exactly in the center and shape fill i'm going to make it white and then i can add some text at the bottom i'll just say some title here center align make it bold and put it here and then go to insert text box and you can add some detailed text equals lorem within bracket one i don't want this long text i'm going to delete some text from this again center align reduce the font size and put it here and that's it so you can see here and again if you want to change the color of this one i can simply select this and i can just give any color of the cho your choice and for this also i can just go to the lines and give the same color here all right so now i'm going to select all the objects hold the control shift key i can add it to on the left again i'm selecting all the objects and hold the control shift key drag it towards the right and then you can change the color according to your needs so again i'm going to choose this one i can give some green color so this also i'm going to choose some green color here and then i can change the icon i can go to the graphic format change graphic from icon and i can choose any graphic here click insert and you can see here the color has been changed so now once this is done i'm going to do some animations so close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this one add animation go to more entrance effects you have got a wide variety of animations so from this i'm going to choose uh, the stretch click ok stretch make it from the bottom all right so and make sure that this is also we need to group it otherwise you need to do the animation okay for this also you can add some animation i can just say more entrance effects i i will say basic zoom click ok and this should happen after previous and for this i'm going to add the animation before that i'm going to group this one press ctrl g you can see here i can just group it one by one before the animations okay now i'm going to select this one add animation again more entrance effects i'm going to choose the stretch click ok the stretch it should be from the top now and it should happen with previous all right so if i play it comes like this now with the help of the animation painter i can just simply copy and paste the animation okay you can see here quickly the animation copied to the other option likewise we can just change the color and add the animation effect to it